Hello, so for today's video it's going to be a get ready with me. So basically it is a all matte pink eye, nude lip, not very Christmassy but I'm going for Christmas dinner and I'm just feeling it. So yeah, actually is it pink or is it more purple? We'll find out when we get to the actual palette. So first of all I'm going to start off by doing the eyebrows. So I've already used the Benefit Brow Brow Conditioning Primer. So I applied it, let it dry, we're moving on. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. So I'm just going to brush through the brows first. So I'm just going to fill in the brows. I usually take this underneath the brow first, just to like give us a line as to how far we want to fill them in and stuff. Extend it out as well. Basically, you want it to end. So you take it to your nose. My eyebrow should end here. And just brush the brows down. Eyebrows need like plucking and trimming and stuff so they're not in the best shape. And then I'll just go ahead and fit in the top section. Yeah, I'm Cult Beauty at the minute they have a deal. I don't know if it's forever or what, but I'm pretty sure it is. But basically you can pick up an Anastasia Brow Wiz, a dip brow and the number 12 brush for like, I think it was like, maybe it was 30 odd pound. I think I got like 15% off because they had a deal on. But it's like like 30, 40 quid, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Um, considering the uh, Brow Wiz is like 15 pound on its own. I don't know about the brow pomade, but I love the Brow Wizzes. So I was happy to get that. And I was happy to try out the brush and the pomade as well. So I just thought it was like a good little deal. Maybe like a good little, well, it's probably past Christmas by the time this goes up, but a little Christmas gift. Just take the pencil and just flick it through the brows a little bit, not an awful lot. And I'll just go through, sort of comb through it and just fill in whatever needs filling in. We're here, we're here, we might as well take a little bit of the pomade. So I've also bought it in taupe. Because you can't buy like which is should actually they should do that. They should do like a deal where you get like oh you can pick a taupe um brow pencil, but then you can pick a brown dip brow or something. I don't know, but this looks like a really nice brush. Their spoolies are always so nice. So I'm just gonna take a tiny amount, so just like a dollop the brush let's just sort of go in with this i guess so i'm going to take that more on the tail part hmm. yeah i think it looks nice but obviously with the brow pencil and things i can't be like oh yeah it's the most beautiful thing i've ever used so maybe one day when i'm confident enough i'll use the dip brow on its own but i mean together my my brow does look really bold so i'm just going to take a bit of the benefit give me brow so this is in shade one and i'm just going to brush that through the front mainly i'm not going to take this usually i'll take it through the rest but because of the pomade i'm just i'm not going to bother because i don't want to add any more color really it's just really the front i want to get some definition to i feel like it look better when my eyebrows are actually in shape because at the minute the hairs are like woof, all over the place so i'm just going to finish up the other brow and then i'll be back so I'm just going to highlight the brow bone. So I'm going to take the Becca highlighter in a champagne pot. And I'm just going to take that on a crown brush C510. I'm just going to put that underneath the brow bone. It's for eyeshadow base today. I'm going to try a new one. So this is from Art Deco. And it is just basically an eyeshadow base. It's meant to be like really good. It doesn't really say much on the packaging. But it's meant to be like long lasting and everything. But, but it stinks like really bad like it is so floral and I'm just worried to use something that strong on my eye so maybe this would just be like oh a once in a blue moon thing oh I think it's got a bit of shimmer in it as well which is weird so I'm just going to take that on a crown brush so this is a Joe Fiber blending brush I'm going to take it on the more fluffy flat side pack that on the lid hopefully you don't smell it like throughout the day if that makes sense like I know like if you put like a strong lip product on your lip obviously you'll smell it but I'm hoping you don't sort of smell this which I know is near your eyes so you probably won't but I really don't want to smell it I think it's, it's really creamy but it's meant to be like really good for oily eyelids and it's meant to keep shadow in place and things like this which I'm hoping it does do because I'm having a lot of trouble lately with eyeshadow palettes which you'll see in a 
in a video that I'm about to upload soon. But yeah, I'm trying to venture out of the Urban Decay one because I think my eyelids are oily and yeah, creamy base. I'm a bit like, oh, an oily eyelids. Are you sure about that? So for today's palette, I'm going to take the Dose of Colour Marvellous Mauves palette. Um, I've tried um, Do -do -do -do. Dose of Colour not that long ago, like the Desi and Katie collection. And oh my god, the highlighter from I Love Sarah Heat is beautiful, like so stunning. So I really wanted to try more from them. And their brand is Cruelty Free, Paraben Free and Talc Free, which is really nice to know. So it's like this little palette and you get five matte shades in here. So you get this plastic thing on here. You do get a little tiny brush, which is kind of cute, but I don't think you'll get much use out of it. Um, but this is what the little palette looks like. And I think it's just so cute. So you can like throw it in your handbag and it's like an everyday sort of look. So yeah, this is what we're going to use today. So I'm going to start off with finding a brush that I need. I've been liking this one a lot. So this is the Crown Brush C441. And I'm going to take a bit of this shade here, which is rosy. Oh, we do get a little bit of powder fall out of this, but that's okay. I'm just going to put that in the crease. I'm so impressed with those colours. I've never tried anything from their brand before. And I picked this, I picked up the Desi and Katie stuff because it was on uh, sale and I was like, yeah, I'm having that. Um, and these were on sale as well. So I picked up this one and I think it was the something browns or something. But I mean, that ran into the crease really nice. Just add in a little bit more colour. Oh, it just blends like a dream as well. I'm just going to take the crown brush. Duo fiber blending brush. I'm just going to sort of blend it out a bit more. Then on a Spectrum A07, I'm going to take this middle shade, which is wishy washy, <laughs> and I'm going to pop that basically in the socket of the crease. Just tap off a little bit of the excess, just because I want to deepen up the crease a little bit. And just blend that out again with the same crown brush. Now on a more dense packed brush, I'm just going to take these two end shades, which is wine stain and spaced out. I'm just going to pop that on the outer corner. Oh, look at that pigment. Beautiful. I'm just going to sort of stamp it on the outer corner. Mostly the third of the no probably more just less than halfway just gonna take a bit more of that rosy shade on that same crown brush and i'm just gonna sort of extend it out a bit and just stamp what's ever left over on this brush just sort of on the outer corner blend it again then for lid colour, I'm going to take the last shade in the palette, which is fluffy. So I'm going to take that on a Spectrum A16, and I'm just going to pack that on the rest of the lid. I'm just going to take these a little crown brush, which is the C528. I'm just going to sort of blend like this darker colour to the fluffy shade that we just used. So you look nice and blended. If you want, you can also take the brush that you use the darker shades on and just sort of stamp over a little bit. So I'm just going to line my top waterline. I'm going to take the Model Co. Eye Definer Crayon in black. That's a really pretty palette and the eyeshadow base was nice as well. But that also could be the eyeshadows because those are colour and I have to do with their eyeshadows. Yeah, really impressed. So I'm just going to take the Nip and Pat Rose Gold Essence. I'm just going to take a bit of that on my hand. that four drops hmm. yeah and I'm just gonna sort of rub it all over the face so now I'm just gonna take the makeup revolution conceal and a fine foundation 
Uh, just done a review on this, it should be up on the channel already. If it is, I'll leave it on the little eye. I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. And then just dot it along the face and pounce it out with a beauty blender. I should have done my hair after I've done all of this, but live and learn. I'm just going to take the Sleek Life Proof Concealer in flat white. I'm just going to put that on the under eyes. A little bit down the bridge of the nose. Here's the chin and then a little bit on the forehead. I'm just going to blend that out with a Kat Von D concealer brush. Every freaking advert at the minute has got great showman songs. So every time I hear the advert, it's literally just pumping through my head 24-7. Not that I'm complaining because, you know, great app. Great album. Great movie. Yeah, album. They have an album. Uh, great song, so. But I don't want to be singing freaking it all day, every day. And I'm just going to take a mini Real Techniques sponge. So this is like their mini... I think it's their mini miracle sponges, whatever they are, they're freaking great. So just pack that out underneath. So I'm just going to take the Rimmel Instant Duo Contour Stick, so this is in light. Do a bit of this section. A little bit on the nose. So I'm just going to blend that out with a crown brush. C4 something or other, C4-6, I'm just going to buff that out. I'm also going to take the highlighter side, which has a hair on it, disgusting. I'm going to take that on the tops of the cheek, nose, tip of the nose. But it's not really the tip, what is it? The underneath tip of the nose. <laughs> A little bit down the bridge, cute eye, dot on the chin, and then a little bit on the foreheads. I love this stuff, like it just looks so dewy. Even the contour side is beautiful. Like, I've had this for a little while now. When did I do the Kim K versus this video? Oh, you can go tips and hacks on rimmel.com. Beautiful, I'm gonna have a look on that later. I didn't even know that's a bet on there. But yeah, I've had it about a year or something, and it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. And I absolutely love it. And I would repurchase it again and again and again and again and again. Until they discontinue it, and then I'll cry and buy 20. For bronzer today, I'm going to take the Jouer, um I think these, it just says light to medium duo, which I'm pretty sure is a bronzer duo. So it looks like this. I haven't tried these yet and I've heard really good things and I actually really like Jure. So I'm just going to take a Spectrum C07. It's a nice big fluffy brush. And I'm going to dip into both. So it's sun tan and sun light. Just going to bronze up the skin. So basically on the foreheads. On the foreheads, yes, we have two foreheads. And then just on the cheek area. That's a pretty bronzer, really nice. Bronzer, bronzer to me, if one looks good, they all look good. <laughs> well, they all just like, oh yeah, it's a nice bronzer. It's a nice bronzer. I think that's why I have like 20 billion different eyeshadows, but only about four different bronzers. Now I'm just gonna take the Becca highlighter that we took earlier. I'm just gonna take that on a crown brush C4, no, C529. I'm gonna highlight the tops of the cheeks and this part of the nose, just cause. I want a bit more extra oomph there. These last up like, ages on the skin, like so long. Like I've never had a highlighter last this long on the face. Like I can get home and I'll still be beaming. They're absolutely beautiful. So now I'm gonna go into the Jouer blush trio. So this is in a door. And I have Adore Me, Hold Me. 
So I'm going to take this shade, which I think is actually hold me because when you look on the back, it looks like the Adore Me one is a lot darker in colour. So I assume that's how it works. So yeah, I'm just going to take this light peach, peach, this light pink shade on a Kat Von D number, I don't know, brush. Because that will worn off. I'm just going to take a bit of that tap off the excess. Just flush up the cheeks. Just gonna take a bit of the hourglass bowery touching fluid. Just put a little bit of that on the inner corners. Oh, that's quite a bit more than I expected, but we're here now. We're gonna have to just do it. I'm just gonna take my finger, and just pat that out. I'm just gonna take the hourglass bow translucent setting powder, and on that mini sponge, I'm just gonna pack some on. I basically just pack it on underneath the eyes. Okay, so now that we've let that set for a minute or two, I'm going to go into the Hourglass Edit Unlocked palette. Um, I don't know if this was limited edition or not. I think it was, but you, you could probably pick up like a highlighter and stuff from Hourglass anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But all I want is the Ambient Powder, which is just a nice bright powder. And I just want to dust away the bake with it. Where is she? Where Rose? <laughs> oh my god, please tell me you can see my cat. <laughs> no, that's the funniest thing ever. So I'm just going to take the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Loose Powder in Pale Yellow and I'm just going to dust that all along the face. Avoid the highlighter because I don't want that to be matte or anything. Well, the dewy highlighter that we put on the rest of the face isn't a big deal, but. So to finish up the eyes, I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take the little brush it comes with because this looks really nice. So I'm going to take the two end shades, which was spaced out and wine stain. Take it about halfway in. And I'm going to take the Spectrum A16 and for the other part of the eye, I'm just going to take Fluffy, the first white shade, and push that close to the eyelash line. Then I'm going to take a bit of rosy and wishy-washy on a Spectrum B06 and I'm going to run that along the lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to take the Becca highlighter again on the Crown Brush C510 and I'm going to pop that in the inner corners. So I'm just going to take a bit of the Iconic Prep Set and Glow Spray. I'll probably give this a good shake. Just gonna spray that all over. When you use that, use it quite far back because the spritzer isn't, it's fine, but it's not too fine. And I'm gonna take the Irma Decay All Night Pollution Protecting Setting Spray. So for mascara, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Double Extension Waterproof, and then I'm gonna take the Lily Lashes in, is it Myconics or Mykonos? I don't know, but these are what they look like and I love these and I actually haven't worn them in ages. So yeah, I'm gonna apply those off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so lashes and mascara are on. So I was gonna go in with a liquid lipstick, but my lips are so dry because I work out in the cold. So lips dry, hands dry, face dry. It's just like three in one. So if I was gonna use a liquid lipstick, I would've used Ofra in Sao Paulo. But the gloss from, uh, Colourpop and Kathleen Light. So this is Moonchild. Pretty much match. So I'm going to take the lip gloss and apply that all over. And then this is the finished look. I love these lashes so much, but they are so extra. I feel like, oh, I'm going to dinner. Everyone's going to be like, yeah, in like casual clothes, I'm rocking up with these eyelashes that could literally gust the wind. <laughs> Oh, they're just so beautiful, the way they sit, the way they look. Oh, I know I've got hooded lids, so it's like just covers up everything I've done, but I just have some crying like this. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. All right. Bye. Hello, so for today's video, what the hell is this thing going? <laughs> Uh, uh.
excuse me. Something I'm in dreams. What we're gonna make.